Hello, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. I am Jessica, and today we have quite a few things that we need to get to. Um, so we left off and we were building these buildings on our base. Um, we also just had an attack by the Shriekers. Um, we found out that they do like ranged damage, which really like pretty much killed Carter and we had to reload our game so um this episode some things I want to focus on I need to get some wood finish building this stuff I would like to get batteries built underneath this shelter that we want to make um I would like to get a soldering bench created um so we're gonna put this is gonna be like a crafting type of room so we're gonna put that in there and move other stuff in there eventually um we need to get CPU cores and power cells, and that's why I'm making the soldering bench. I believe that's where you make that stuff. I know you can also like salvage it or uh, other things like that, but yeah. Okay, um, Emmeline is drinking and I need her to cook because Vivian is starving and she doesn't have access to food. So hopefully they start doing that soon. Okay, Vivian's going to eat. Um, oh my god. Why did she go out there? <laughs> Alright, I guess she went out of the range of our lightning rod, so we're gonna need another lightning rod. Um, okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, well, Vivian's cooking, so that's fine. <laughs> it's not ideal because she doesn't make as good as meals as Emmeline. But Ken is eating. All right, Emmeline's gonna cook. All right. Anyways, we need um electronics like CPU cores power cells because that will allow us to get the freaking defenses that we need like uh, oh we can actually we have access to flamethrowers all right let's reorganize our priorities here so I'm gonna finish synthetic armor then I'm gonna get flamethrowers and then I'm gonna get long distance travel and then I'll do these um, and then we'll probably do that after but um yeah, flamethrowers will be great, and then long distance travel will be also really good. I'd like to get to that soon. I'm glad Emmeline's back on her feet. Does she have... She's alright. She's just in pain. Um, I realize now also that a lot of people um, either don't have a spear or their spear is getting low, so... We have that in the crafting bench queued up on top priority whenever they have time. Um, as well as hopefully some more winter clothes. They wake up and immediately uh, drink wine. I'm not sure. Okay, they are eating. All right, cool. Awesome. So Vanessa is researching. Carter's working on finishing this building, which will be very nice. Construction six for Carter already. That's awesome. Because wasn't Ken our main constructor for a while? And he's also at six, so Carter flew through that. That's wild. Um... Ken's going to salvage again. We do we just not have room to store this? Let's see. Where have we been storing these? Uh I mean it looks like we have space. I don't know why they haven't brought it over. I guess he's doing it now. I don't know. Probably just laziness or some such. Okay, we're getting that built, so now we can queue up, um, battery, and then 
I don't know if it's a bad idea to like stack them next to each other. Uh, that's something I actually do not know. So I guess let me know in the comments. <laughs> or they'll just blow up and we'll find out the hard way. Okay, we got the soldering bench. So it's becoming difficult because there's so many crafting tasks and everyone's got a bajillion jobs. So it's a little bit rough. Um, I believe this requires power to function. So we're gonna need a power line this way. Of course, this is acting annoying. Um, so <laughs> it's like just far enough away that it can't connect to both. So I guess we'll put one here and then we'll put one maybe here. All right, we have another lightning rod up. That's good. Getting that battery constructed. So that will be helpful. And then... Uh, I don't know if I should like tear those down and replace these. Let's see, 20... 60... I mean, we might as well just build some... And then we can replace them eventually. Okay, synthetic armor done. That is... That would be great, but it's not ideal to make right now with all the other things we need to make. Season 1, okay. Just making sure I'm not over saving something the wrong way. So we're gonna want to make... Um, CPU cores... What does it take? Just metal alloys and silicon? Uh, what do we- how much silicon do we have? I don't even know where that's stored. Okay. We have 140 silicon. Alright, well we can make, um... We'll try making five to start with. Because you need two per power cell. Well then, maybe we'll make... Let's see, it takes 25. Um, I think that's all the silicon we have if I can do math, which I'm bad at math, so sorry, but uh, it's something like that. We'll just do as much as we can right now. Do, 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 do. All right. So hopefully we get these windows and everything else made tomorrow. Um, a lot of debris in this area. I really want Vanessa to research that flamethrower because that would really help us um, I haven't decided. I think they need electricity to work, so... Um, I'm wondering if we could put them here. Do, 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 since the traps are here. But we'll have to route the power ore. How, I think what I want to do is have separate power grids for my defenses but the thing is like it's rough because it, I guess I'm gonna have to make like a fenced off area actually I can make like a, a separate fenced off power area here um, to power some of the defenses perhaps We'll do like... Uh, like this. And then... Fence door. 
Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's just like, I don't want... If our power grid over here goes down, don't necessarily want it to affect. Like, I could connect these, but have this as a backup or something. I have, like, this for the... for a battery or something. What are we doing in these? We're doing wine in all of them. Kind of annoying. Um... I think I might prioritize pickled vegetables now over that because we just have some well I'll leave one on wine just because we have so much so many vegetables going bad okay so cool we're charging these batteries now um, that's awesome I don't understand why he doesn't just construct these windows it doesn't make any sense to me just do it. Awesome. See? See how easy that was? Okay, wow, we cut the we cut the trees down. So they always do it so fast. Um Vanessa's researching that flamethrower. Oh, oh, just kidding, we already did that. That was so fast. Okay. Flamethrower. Uh oh that I see takes fuel and it consume wow it the it consumes it and um needs it to build do we only have 10 fuel total oh gosh like i know we can construct more but everyone's just busy um let's have yoko I guess craft liquid fuel. I wanted to craft the spears. So this doesn't even um, take power. I thought it was going to, but um, yeah, it doesn't. Interesting. Well, I can make one. I know our. F oh wait, th these get attacked, don't they? Um, is there a better way to- that rain is so loud. Let me turn that down a little bit here. Uh, is there a better way to make this so they can't get attacked? Like, cause they'll just go straight for it. You obviously can't put it behind a fence. I guess just putting traps in front of it is the best way, but I'm trying to think. Is there a way to use this where they don't just hit it the whole time? I'm not sure that there is. I'm not sure. Alright, I'm gonna have Emily take a break from cooking and do the vegetable oil just so that we can get some more fuel. Limit reached? Oh. I thought it meant like her limit, like her mental limit. She's like, I'm not extracting any more vegetable oil. Or so help me God. I'm glad she's finally deciding to cook, but I would like a little bit more oil from her. I think there needs to be a little bit more um, breakdown of tasks in this game. Like, cause there's crafting, but crafting seems to encompass, you know, like, the oil press, the soldering bench, the tailoring bench, the workbench. And it would be nice to like granulate that a little bit. Um, 
Unless there's just something I'm missing, but that's just my two cents. So yeah, now we finally have the lights on because we have batteries. It's such a cool feeling. Uh, I still don't have lights in the bedroom, but I feel like they wouldn't like it because it's like interrupting their sleep type of situation. But I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I want Carter to finish constructing this stuff. I want Ken to construct this before our next raid. Just get it done. And then Yoko... We're kind of low on sticks and I appreciate... Um, there's a liquid... I set a limit for that limit reached. That's so weird. I don't remember doing that, but it is what it is. Um, heat wave, that sucks. Okay, so we got the flamethrower. I think we'll also... Get some traps in here. Um, just around this in case they try to attack it. Uh, let's see. Fit three traps in there. Ken is doing the mostest. We could probably move some of this stuff. Right now, the tailoring bench is okay outside because it's really close to the fabric. I think um, I can move the... Another reason I had these in here was because it's warm in here for the winter and it's starting to get chilly. I'm probably going to have to get another, like a heating stove. Or, you know what? Um, I guess a heater because that just consumes electricity which is nicer is that plugged in yeah we'll put a heater there for the when whenever it gets cold so that they're not cold when they're in there we got all this stuff done awesome so hopefully this helps our next attack I think it's uh, starting to get scary to add these defenses because I don't know. It's just going to be like, oh gosh, the raids are going to get higher. All right, so we have the hot air balloon. Um, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, it'd be kind of cool to have like a metal like helipad type situation, I guess you would call it. Um, I'll leave a little bit of room. Let's see. I'll do eight by eight, so there's like a walking. Wow, that's 192 metal. Well, yeah, we got metal to spare. That's fine for now. Okay, and then boom. Wait, does that connect? Is that too far away? Wait, do the solo? I th oh, you need a pole, right? My does the pole connect to the battery? How does this work over here? Yeah, it connects to the pole. Okay. Okay, so we'll do that whenever that's... Th this is for future... We're kind of future-proofing this for whenever we have turrets. And then we'll probably put like a um, generator, like diesel generators too. Let me get those so that if something goes wrong, we can kick those on. And... Yeah. Hey, Vanessa, do you want to construct these traps? Because you're the best. Thanks, homie.
so these flamethrowers can hurt your people and I believe structures. So you gotta be careful. Same with like missile launchers. They can they have like splash damage that can affect your uh, your structures. Well, at least she had some variety in the things she's doing. I wonder if I should just not harvest these. I guess it doesn't hurt. I kind of want to just say don't harvest them because we have... Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to have just extra food. Signal rocket. Wow. Okay, well, we don't have the thing made, so... Can I... What's Carter doing? Sleeping? Can I just, like, force you to wake up and build this? I know you'll be unhappy, but... They build it in such a weird pattern. Just get it done. Um, hundred. We've got two hundred berries. Some veggies going bad. We. I never really pay attention to like how much meat we have. I just never do. Um, there's also apparently another plant that I don't have yet, and it's some kind of root that grows near water. But the only water I have seen is like way over here. Right over here. Um... I don't even see it here either. This might be a certain biome of water. Um... I don't really know what it does, I just know it exists. Let's check over here. Is it this? Yeah, densely leafed plant. Um, I don't know what it does, but I kind of want to find out. So, <laughs> this is so far away. I like kind of don't even want to send her that far. Hold on, let's. Um, is there any water near us? Look at this nice little clearing. Yeah, I don't- oh gosh, there's a nest kind- that's kind of close. That's actually a little spooky. I didn't know that that was there. Yikes. I don't know if like- I think it just keeps spreading. I don't really know how the nest mechanics work. But I didn't know that was there. Sorry, I'm just looking for water to see if there's anywhere closer. Because if we have an attack, she's gonna be pretty far away. She only has a crossbow, though. Um, yeah. I'm not really seeing any other source of water as this. Oh, it's just an ore. Well, I guess she's going on. The only thing, too, is like, she doesn't. I guess she's full. She might get real hungry out there. Let's save before she goes out there. And just... If something bad happens, then I guess we'll load. Godspeed. It's really far away. Alright, you're almost done, Carter. You're the MVP, man. You can do whatever you want when you're done with this. Although I'd prefer you to keep constructing stuff. Alright, we're gonna get a... Oh, of course it's not like... I can't, like, center it, but it's okay. Um... Insufficient materials. Yeah, we're getting low on sticks. Ba -da 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 -da. Um. Kind of like these like side stairs. Just looks cleaner. Uh, yeah, we're low on sticks. Um. I'll just cut some bushes. Malfunctioned wind turbine. Okay. Sure. So we're in a heat wave. It's... I mean, it's 70 degrees inside. It's not too bad. 72 outside is also not bad. Cool. 
cool. Insufficient storage space. For sticks? What? What do you mean? We've got space. What? That's confusing. Um, but okay. <laughs> In my opinion, we've got some... Oh. Actually, I think I see. I was thinking this was a free spot. Um... Yeah, that is fair. Uh, where are, you, where are you taking that? Hey, Ken, can you do this? Okay. Deselect all sticks. We'll dedicate that to sticks. Carter's gonna have a meltdown because we forced him to stay awake for too long, but it's all right. Okay, so. Have we made any more spears? We have two spears now. Um, I believe Vivian doesn't have one. And Vanessa also doesn't have one, but she's kind of far away. Carter's asleep. Oh, Vanessa's back. I wonder how much progress she even could make on that plant before she had to head back. Uh, the good news is, though, that we're not- uh, I would like her to get diesel generators done, so I might force her to do that. We got the heater in here, but we want to turn that off. Alright, I'm excited to maybe start doing some expeditions. Um, it'll be kind of hard for me to choose who to take, or who to let go. Um, I think they have different, like, different skills, let them- be good at different things for expeditions, so yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I think intellect can be important. Um, mm, wine first thing in the morning. Okay, so she is off to go observe that plant. I have a feeling we're gonna get attacked again soon, so I'm like, Godspeed. Oh my gosh. This guy's gonna be a problem, isn't he? I wonder if he'll hit these traps. Yeah, the answer was yes. Oof. Great, we're gonna waste all our fuel. God, it takes so much fuel. This thing will just bleed out, I guess. That kind of is depressing. Um, I might have them go finish it off. Just so that it's not suffering. Okay, she finally made it here. Alright, she's slowly making progress. Um, Ken... I don't know what you're doing. You're handling stuff. Why are you in minor pain? What? Dementia? Mild. Untreatable chronic disease. Consciousness minus 10. He's got a hangover and dementia. I did not know that. Can you just do this, please? Old man. Alright, she's heading back. Ken is idling, so I'll have him hunt this thing. I think his gun isn't really great at damage, but... That's alright. Alright. Let's get that hot air balloon complete. Awesome. Okay, let's save again. So... That takes fuel is the issue. And I don't think we- we only have 10. Yeah. Yoko is harvesting some stuff. Putting a little bit of fuel in there, but not a lot. So 
So were we able to craft... No, not quite. 73% of a CPU core. We want to get that CPU core because it'll unlock um, research for more defenses. In my first game I played, we immediately found power cells and CPU cores in in the debris, but like, I haven't been able to really do that. So s I guess scavenge that whenever Ken wants to. I'm trying to think who to send on these expeditions. Probably Ken or if Vanessa doesn't have anything important to research, I could send her in the future. But I don't know, I guess it's good that we just keep pumping out the research, especially once we unlock the weapons. I would also like to get sensors. Um, fuel is kind of an issue. So fuel is another thing that we, I, in my last game, we, we scavenged so much of early on. And now I have like none and I have to craft it manually. But maybe the expeditions will help. I don't know. Um, do you need to eat? Maybe just research then. Um, I could start building this. I've just sort of been putting it off. Oh yeah, good going. Uh, Emmeline is sleeping. They are harvesting. Vanessa's doing that. Okay, thank you, Carter. Appreciate it. We are once again out of sticks. Oh my gosh, we scavenged a CPU core. Incredible. So, now we can unlock turrets and then we'll do freezers. And then sensors. Um, I wonder what the advanced research desk is for. Maybe just different stuff? I don't know. Alright, I'm happy that he's done that. We also need sticks. Uh, that's a fruit bush. We're running out of bushes. Let's see. Cut. Bushes. Boom. Have somebody go do that. Oh, Ken found some boots. So scavenge. I have to remember. Scavenge is finding items. And salvage is like cutting out the guts of the machine. Alright, cool. We're getting some more sticks. I also should get trees cut before winter because we I'm gonna want to build uh, this building, but not want to send them out here for for wood when it's super cold. Insufficient storage space again. First, but. But, 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 there's so much room for sticks, I don't understand. Oh, oh, it's full now. Okay, um, well, let's dedicate all of this to constructions for now. We'll end up moving. Actually, I don't want metal there or bricks. Well... I guess we can allow bricks. Yeah, that's fine. We've got some meat getting dried as well as some... Actually, we need to get these stored. The uh, smoke leaf. Medicine and... Do, 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 do. 
dried smoke leaf, put that in there. I think I might move, like, deselect, stop allowing that there. I, I want to move the uh, drying racks. I just don't know where I should put them. I'm, maybe I'll make, like, a dedicated area for them. Uh, I might end up putting, like, a freezer here, removing this window, put a door. Because we will need a freezer at some point. And then, I don't know, we could have, like, a dry... Or I could, if there's still room, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta figure it out. I could just make like a shelter nearby and put them under there. All right. Uh, Vanessa, equip the spear. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want them to... Don't want them to get hit by the. No 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 no. Carter. By the time we have a real attack, we're gonna have no fuel in this thing. stuff. Emlyn's going to bed. I need... Okay. I'm, I'm happy about the sticks, you guys, but listen. I would like some fuel for this flamethrower now. Because these dang peaceful animals keep coming in here. Interesting that they will go to any table to eat instead of just eating because it's like super far away. Alright, Yoko, I need you to craft liquid fuel. Rain. Um, I need... Oh, Emlyn. Drink wine. Can you put the wine? We have so much wine. How come I can't? Oh. Ferment pickled vegetables limit reached. What do we have? We've got 80. How did we end up with 80? Okay. Why is she not listening to me? Okay. Well, someone will do that eventually. <laughs> She's like, no, I don't think I will do that. Yoko. More liquid fuel, please. Okay, I guess Carter's doing it. Weird. Alright, this- I'm trying to get enough sticks and wood for winter, because we don't really want to be going out there chopping that stuff. Um, I need to make sure we don't have less than a hundred sticks. Well, I don't want them to be constantly chopping. We'll just save. Well, we'll, we'll tr yeah, we'll say a hundred, because I need it for some heat, too. She just put all the fuel. I need you- are you super tired? Can you pump out one more liquid fuel before bed? Because she put all the one we just crafted into the thingy, which is great, but I need her to- I need some for the flamethrower, too. Okay, somebody fixed the traps, which is great. Oh, 
If we could just make a little bit more to put in here, that would be great. Okay, we, we researched the diesel generator. The, uh, oh gosh, she's walking out here. She's gonna get struck by lightning, 10 bucks. All right, so that's full again. Music night. When you have mus musical instruments, you have to you have music. All right, let's gather and dance at 1900. Sure. Music night. All right. I think now I need to start moving the fabrics inside. Um we can do a little bit of scrap metal. Let's do this corner. Let's do all of... Oh my gosh, the windows are such a pain. <laughs> okay, well... I don't know, do we need... How much fabric do we really have at one time? I guess not a ton. Okay, well, we'll do that, and that will be for the fabrics. We will move this inside. I need to probably, s I need to start closing the windows, I think. Is that, that's like all of the windows. Close. Okay, I selected a lot of the windows, but not all of them. Close. Okay. Uh. Oh gosh. Uh oh. No! The game crashed! Oh my gosh. No, not a game crash! Alright, well, I don't even know when it auto saves, so I'm relaunching the game, and we're gonna find out where it last saved. I think it auto saves. Um, that's depressing. I'm not gonna pause the video because I don't wanna edit it. So you're just gonna chill with me until it uh, relaunches. It says it's synchronizing to the Steam Cloud right now. Crap, I, I, I saved not super long ago, but not super recently. All right, it is now relaunching. What a bummer. I wonder if I I highlighted too many windows. That's upsetting. I just wanted to close all the windows. It was getting chilly outside. That's my first crash. I mean, for an early access game, that's, you know, that's decent. I wonder if it was the windows or what? Maybe just too many handling tasks queued up or something? Everybody was like, I don't know what to do. Okay, so it looks like the celebration, it looks like it's just this morning. So I'll do the first collection of windows and then I'll move on. We'll just do a little bit at a time. Spaceship debris crash. Intriguing. I could send somebody on an expedition, I don't know who. Let's see. Peculiar crash site. Explore. We only have two. Ten hours. A sizable chunk of a spaceship fell in this area. There's something peculiar about its shape. Happiness 27. Um... I don't know who to send. I cuz he's currently scavenging, but this kind of takes the spot of scavenging. He ha he's the only person with a pulse rifle, so if we have an attack it might suck without him. But 10 hours I think we'll be okay. And if not then oh well. Good luck, it's literally thunderstorming and I'm like, I'm like, good luck, enjoy your bon, bon, bon voyage. 
They don't even use my stairs. That's depressing. Maybe I should just make it so that it's centered and get rid of this extra bit and then just get rid of the stairs. I don't even care about the stairs. All right, they're cutting stuff, getting wood. Wow, we got a bunch of vegetables. We got so much stuff that it's all getting spoiled. It's all getting spoiled. Someday she'll get that plant researched. After she eats, I might have her research. I really want to get that turret researched. Oh, it's music night. Dang. Ken's gonna loot. Uh, miss out on that. Um, oh yeah, I didn't get all the windows. Bum, 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 bum. We close the ones in here. Alright, I think that's all of them, except... Expedition complete, peculiar crash site. Um, part of the debris caught my attention, so I went to investigate. Doing so, I found the remains of a communications hub, and with some effort, I was able to pull out an intact orbital radio core. Some research, it should be possible to use it in the construction of orbital communication devices. Contact any ships that pass near the planet. A chance for salvation. Okay, so I think that's actually part of the main story. And that is how you get off the planet. That's really interesting. Alright, where's Vanessa? She's sleeping a little bit. I thought maybe when she wakes up I'll have her do the research. That way she's not miserable. Emlyn's doing well. She's pretty rested. She's finally keeping up. So like, I found, I figured out like, for your cook, if you keep them off of, keep them off handling, keep them off cutting, make harvesting kind of a low priority in planting. Not low, but like lower than cooking. Um... If you want them to farm and cook, make cook one and then make harvest and plant two and just make sure you set like an actual limit so that they will stop cooking at some point. Otherwise they'll just cook forever and ever and ever and ever, which can be good, but yeah. Okay, it's starting to get cold, so I'm gonna start this. Oh yeah, I didn't, I forgot about this. Let's get this going. Um. This is something that I did before we crashed. Um, yeah, they're starting to get cold. Which is unlucky. Oh wait, Vanessa, wait. Research that, please, instead. Um... I don't want her going out that far in actual winter, though. So... Yeah. That could be bad. I might want her to actually go finish... Yeah, let's have her go finish the plant now before it starts snowing. Um, and then when it starts snowing, she can research inside. I think that'll be better. Awesome, we're getting this stuff done. Let's go. Okay, so this is going to be fabrics and I think that's it. Um, let me turn this on. Turn this on. I guess it's kind of cold in here. Bum, 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 bum. 
Let's see. We might want to vent. Vents are so annoying. <laughs> um, I could maybe get rid of this window. Because I want to heat this room up, I think. Because she has to cook in here pretty often. Uh, Vivian, can you actually sew some beanies? Oh yeah, I need to... Oh, we do have quite a bit of fabric here. We're gonna say no fabrics allowed there. No fabrics allowed there. Hopefully they'll start moving that. Yep. It'll take a little bit, but they'll eventually start doing it. Probably should also move these furnaces. And... Okay, it's starting to snow, so she's heading back. She still hasn't finished researching this plant. That is crazy. Where is it at? Yeah, it's really far away. What are we at? 87%. If I cancel that, does that take away the progress? Let's see. Okay, no, we, I think we stayed 87%. I just don't want her to come over here anymore. So, cause it's starting to snow. So it sucks, but we'll have to wait till spring to finish that. It's not a huge priority. I don't even know what it does. It might be important though. Um, all right, let's go through their clothing and tell them to put on coats and thermal pants. Um, coats, he's good. Beanie, coat, beanie, thermal pants, coat. I don't, I, I think they might all go at once, so. I don't know. Synthetic boots. Uh, coat. Not ideal. So, I don't know if we have an extra. We'll put a jacket on, I guess. It's not ideal. Um, and then, yeah, okay. So, we'll make a couple more beanies. I think we need, um, do we have any leather? Oh, we do. So a leather coat padded with textile. Synthetic textiles. 4150. Cold tolerance? They don't get cold till 50? I wonder if I should just focus on synthetic stuff. You can only make one of those, I think. Yeah. Oh, almost two, but not quite. I can't remember. I don't think we've researched synthetics. Chitin synthetics. Yeah. But she should start working on research again. Anyway, um, after she does that... We should probably get some more... Coats. Fur coat. So Vivian. Oh, you're doing that. That's fine too. Wait, what happened, Ken? Oh my god. He walked in front of this thing. Yeah, what's, that's one of the issues with having it in front of the gate. It's actually really unfortunate. And then it wastes fuel too. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, uh, Vivian, what are you doing? You're crafting a spear. I appreciate it, but I want you to do this stuff. Actually, let's do fruit coat. <sighs> so, 58. It's. transporting wood we got all the fabrics moved which is cool man they're really it's hard because there's so many things that need to get crafted and you're like well okay I mean I guess that's good that you're doing that but then you're like well I don't really want you to do that I want you to do this so it's like it's a lot <laughs> I, I really feel like cra like there has to be a way to automate crafts or something. Oh my gosh, we have 14 of those shrieker. Okay, so we have, interesting, we have a bunch of little shriekers, a brood mother, and some scissor hands. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, first things first. Ken, I need you to handle these traps. Be nice if the frickin' Come on. I wish we had a sniper rifle. What the heck happened? Emmeline's fleeing danger. What? Did a meteor hit her? I'm trying to look and see if there's any damage. I don't know what she was fleeing. But um, I think we need to, I think we need to like push before they're aggressive and try to take out the brood mother before they push. I don't know, I'm a little spooked out. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I really wish we had a sniper rifle. We just haven't been able to find one yet. Um, let's see, how are you? You're, I think everyone's good enough. Some of them are tired, like Yoko. Let's just try. Gosh, I really, really, really wish we had a snipe. On top of that, we got Meteor Rain, like, come on. Oh my god. Oh, I can't even see because there's bushes and stuff. Okay, you do that. You do that. Oh shit. I didn't think they would all attack us. Yeah, no, this isn't worth. This isn't worth. So let's go back. Um, maybe we should have one of them attempt to pull them. Who has the longest range? Carter, I guess. Okay, so Ken, you try to stun them there. Emelyn and Yoko here. Vanessa and Vivian here. Okay, we're gonna try to just pull the one. Okay, now run! Run, Carter, run. Carter, run faster. Oh no, Carter. Carter, run. Carter, be faster. Why are you attacking the fence? Jesus. Mm, 
I don't know, maybe we should just wait for them to push. Because now he's going to bleed out. Or I can have him... I don't... Uh... Mm... Maybe I should just wait. I think I'm gonna try one more time and I'm gonna just wait uh, for them to push. Um, Cause yeah, they're, they're just faster than my people and we don't have great weapons. Um, so. This meteor rain is so distracting. <laughs> Emelyn's fleeing the danger of that. I wish that the meteor would hit the freaking broodmother. Okay, I think they're attacking now. Go, 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 get, get up! Seem okay, maybe I should have gotten them up sooner. I don't know. I think we'll be okay. Okay, Ken here. Yoko here, Emmeline here, here, here. Assume the positions. Let's see. Why? Jesus. Can shoot the. Uh, actually. Oh my. You. Okay, you need to rescue him. Get down, you're just getting hurt. Why does it not come th I guess because it can reach us. Okay, so Emil uh, Emeline. Vivian and Carter, get down. And Yoko. Uh, Vanessa. Heal him. It's so interesting that they're not... I want it to come through to the flamethrower, but it... I guess it won't because... Okay, there it goes. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Yes, bitch! I think it's out of fuel. Okay. Oh my gosh. God, that was a lot. Um... Ken is still being treated. He got fricked up. Emmeline, what's your healing? One. You can heal Vivian. She's not hurt too bad. Okay, Ken is fully healed. Vanessa is healing as fast as she can. No, 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 no. I know you're tired, but you gotta heal your people. Maybe Emmeline can... That was wild. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, so I wonder if we should replace the low fences with higher ones so that maybe they won't shoot over it. Really hoping to get turrets soon. All right, everyone's recovering. That was a rough one. 
Um... Wild stuff. All right, I probably should wrap up the episode here. Um, thank you guys for watching. That was a that was an intense one. So we finished our crafting room, the construction of that. We got some batteries built, and our power grid is slowly increasing. We got the long distance uh, travel hot air balloon, so that we can go on expeditions. We finally discovered um, CPU cores, and now we can maybe make a. Uh, one or two power cells. Um, and I think we only have room for one actually. Um, so hopefully that will help us unlock more weapons for our defenses. Oh my gosh, sir. Sir. Oh my gosh. Anyways, um, I'll deal with that later. Yeah, um, winter is approaching very, very soon. Um, hopefully we can make it through. I think we've got enough fuel and stuff, so. The next goals will be getting our turrets up, hopefully getting more traps set definitely along this path. I've just been sort of waiting for turrets. Um, and probably fixing the wall to be a higher one. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.